Ski is not your typical 100 year old man. Oh my God, yeah. Jesus Christ. Hey, I'm, I'm a damn celebrity here. <laughs> Born in Rockford, Illinois, Ski signed up to join the Navy only a few months before the attack on Pearl Harbor. He volunteered to work in naval aviation. Uh, we had a lieutenant come there and give us a lecture and said, oh, are you sure that's what you want? I mean, it's dangerous and we're going to be aerial gunners. And I said, yeah, that's what we wanted because we we're getting an extra $20 a, a month pay. <laughs> you know, I, I was 20 years old at, at the time. Once he finished training, Ski was assigned to VP-74 on plane number seven. Before he arrived, he put in a request to go on leave. And so, and so I went on 10 days leave. And when I came back, I said, where's, uh, where's airplane number seven? Flew into a mountain in Argentia and killed everybody on board. So I, I dodged a bullet on that one. <laughs> Ski went on to join a torpedo squadron which embarked on USS Pyra, an ammunition ship transporting torpedoes and bombs to Hawaii for the war effort. It had thousands of bombs and torpedoes and everything on it, and the joke on, on board the airplane was that they issued you a parachute instead of a life jacket. <laughs> From there, Ski and his squadron were sent to Midway Island where they engaged in combat against the Japanese. At one point, even seeking a Japanese aircraft carrier. Shortly after, Ski's aircraft crashed into the Pacific Ocean. Uh, that was taking off the, the USS uh, Saratoga uh, on takeoff. And, and that, uh, that's a picture of me in the ocean there. Yeah, we were taking off the Saratoga. We crashed, and uh, I had been cracked under the left eye here and injured a little bit. I remember I leaped out of the cockpit, and uh, I had my seatbelt still on. It threw me back in, so I un un unlatched my seatbelt and ran down the wing, and I swam away from the airplane because we had four or five hundred depth charges, and if they had broken loose, I was afraid they were going to explode. So I was getting the heck away from that airplane. After returning home from combat, Ski decided he wanted to become a Navy pilot. Ski spent the remaining 10 years of his career piloting over 25 different naval aircraft. After retiring from the Navy in 1960, Ski was hired to fly DC-3s for the Federal Aviation Administration, which brought him to Alaska, where he retired and currently lives. I had a hell of a career. There's nothing like it, I'll tell you. I mean, it's, it's, it's very addictive. I mean, once you're a pilot, boy, I'll tell you, you want to be a pilot. That's all I want. You, you, don't, you never change. <laughs>